Ah, a new day. It is the 17th of August, 1918. Uh, we were at number 215 squadron. As per usual, wind 2 meters per second from the southwest. I don't think they measured wind like that in World War One, but uh, who am I to say? At least it's nice somewhere back in history. Um, it's alternating between raining and snowing where I am, but uh, such is life in Canada. So... And, well, it also means that I am, well, it probably sounds like I shoved a sponge up my nose because, well, put it this way, if you hear a squirty explosion, it means my sinuses finally gave out and burst, but uh, don't worry about it. I'm sure it won't come to that, but uh, what are the missions for today? An airfield bombardment at night, so it's going to be dark, so, okay. And it's just the two of us again, uh, ha, 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 in my good old machine. So that's very good. I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea, and uh, we can get on with it. Ha, ha. All right, so since we're hitting an airfield today, which means a reasonably large number of small targets, we'll take eight 250-pound bombs. And in terms of field modifications, a fuel gauge would be very helpful. Uh, we're not going to take the Davis gun because we're attacking an airfield, which could mean they could scramble fighters to come, to, well, to go after us. And uh, our only real defense is the fact that we're so high, like coming in maybe 6,000 feet, that they can't really get up to altitude in time to intercept us, but we will have a double machine gun turret, so... That is all good. Under pilot stuff, I will have a white scarf, uh, which will no doubt uh, stain when I inevitably spill tea on it. Uh, I will not have any streamers or any such nonsense, and I will have my Webley Fosby revolver. <laughs> we might get some more use out of that yet, but uh, under plane settings, I think I'm still going to use the default paint scheme. I alluded a while ago that I was working on... Uh, a custom one? Uh, the I still need to figure out how that works, but, uh, other than that, I think we are good to go. Okay, there's daylight left, and the shadows are a little fiddly, but, uh, what can you do? I'll tell you what you can do, you can twiddle the graphics one moment. Okay, I don't know why the shadows are doing that, but, uh, it's not all that relevant. We're going to start up. And we're going to start up. There we go. And I need to reconfigure my controls again. Oops. Right, now we're off. And we're only a little bit behind. Come on, keep that rudder. Keep that rudder. Okay. It's good to have some daylight. Last time it was way too dark to even discern the target, and it was really a disaster, but... Uh, this time, I don't think we need worry about such matters. Other than the fact that we are in slow flight and we do not need to be doing that. Uh, where is my mixture? Mixture! Ah, wait a minute. I might need to reconfigure a little bit more, but as long as we can get over these trees... Uh, as long as we can get over these trees, yes, we'll be fine. Alright. We'll proceed en route, and I'll uh, be tweaking and configuring things as necessary while we do that. So, I will come back when we approach the lines, I suppose. Well, since we're all here, I think I might take this opportunity to address a few, what I would call, I suppose, for lack of a better word, frequently asked questions. Uh, number one, uh, I don't speak Russian. Uh, although I would very much like to learn it, I can't really be bothered at this time, but I might do that eventually. And uh, I suppose the other one is, if I am Russian, I am a little bit, but my passport says I'm Canadian, so... Not exactly. And uh, also my British accent, which I happen to be using at the moment for purposes of this Let's Play, much like my Russian one that I do for the IL-2 is entirely fake and purely for immersion and comedic value and also I, I'm kind of a lot more boring when I speak normally so yes as you can see 
It's a pretty bloody long way from our airfield to the front, and I'm starting to worry a little bit that it's going to be dark by then, but uh, I suppose, let's have a look at the bomb site actually, now that, while I'm still remembering what the wind was doing. Uh, south west, I think it was, at 2 meters per second. So it's not going to affect a whole lot. And I don't know what our final drop altitude is going to be because we're still climbing. So, that'll do for now. Oh, we got some spotlights going up, which worries me a little bit that there might be some Germans around. But usually they just strike those to see if they can spot anything. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. So, uh, I'll come back if something interesting happens. And the sun, having long since set behind us, uh, gives way to night, but at least we have a lovely moon, so we should be able to at least see the target. And also, uh, we will be passing over the front lines reasonably soon, and I have switched on the cockpit light. I might turn that off once we uh, get to be over German airspace, because, well, I don't know how visible it really is, but really only from above, maybe, I don't know. It does kind of light up the whole interior of the aircraft, so uh, perhaps I will turn that off uh, as we get closer. But uh, it's good to have for now, because, well, it's hard to navigate in the dark. I mean, I'm certainly not navigating properly because I really can't be bothered in this, at least in this campaign. Uh, I do like to do sort of manual navigation. It is kind of a fun thing, and I would like to incorporate it into a few more of these videos, but uh, we'll have to see about that. Um, it will all have to depend. I suppose, eh. I guess I... It would not hurt to have the practice, because for those who are uh, as of yet blissfully ignorant, I am uh, training for my private pilot's license in the real world, and uh, I will probably be doing it cross country pretty soon, so... I really should make sure I'm proficient at that, and uh, how better to do it than in an aircraft where if you didn't do it, you would get lost and die. Well, at least get lost and have a not-so-pleasant evening. We are going to... you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to make this turn properly. Because... The target is not so far from the other side of the lines. I'm sure we've hit this airfield like three or four times by now, but uh, they just keep coming back because all they have to do is put the little tent buildings back up and uh, that's about all there is to it. So, oh, wait a minute. Actually, let's have a look at that briefing again for the weather. Make sure I had it right. Yeah. Southwest, two meters per second. Primary objective, locate and inflict damage upon the airfield. Okay, and uh, <coughs> since we're level, I guess I shall set up the bomb site as well. So it looks like our airspeed is going to be about 85 miles an hour. We'll have to assume that that's also reasonably close to ground speed. An assumption that we should not be making, but uh, what can you do? So it's going to be something like, it's going to be like here. And what is our altitude? 5,000 feet. Okay. Uh, actually close this. Altitude, altitude. So 5,000 feet comes out to about 1,500 meters. Uh, one and five. That doesn't sound right, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, so, okay, that we'll have to do for now, I'll keep the wind. Oh, I see how this works, so, oh, okay. I still don't know how the wind works, actually, but, uh, we'll just have to deal with that. Because we can't be too far away from the target now, so, in fact, I think that this next waypoint is the genuine article, that's the target itself, so I'll just release the bombs with these because, well, why not? 
and we'll probably just see if we can get the right angle to drop them all in one run, because otherwise it's kind of dangerous to turn around and come back once the flak start flying. So uh, I'm going to now turn off the light as we cross over the uh, big slab of scorched earth which runs the length of France because reasons. Um, yeah, we're too we're too invested in this war to uh, be questioning why it began now. After all, so I've got to put the kibosh on the Kaiser. Ooh. Don't speak in German. Your treachery has gone far enough, sir. Uh, let's see, and in that icon that I really shouldn't be seeing, there's another aircraft higher up to the left. Uh, let's just turn those... No, I need to see my navigation markers. Uh, I just hope it's one of ours. I'm not going to peek just yet. But, uh, let's see, which river is this? Runs through here. Why do I care? Because I'm passing time. You know what? I'd better just come back when we're a little closer to the target. Curious thing. There's a German balloon over there. Perhaps we can uh, deviate a little bit and go and uh, take a crack at it, shall we? Because, you know, why not? Alright, so I'll just level it off, and... Crap, how do I... I've forgotten everything! Uh, how do I switch around? Just a second! Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, wait a minute, was it here? Being thoroughly professional here, uh, maybe it's aha. That's it. Let's take this gun, and where is that balloon? I hope it's actually one of theirs. Um, what? What is this nonsense? Okay, I guess. This is a new thing, apparently. We're awfully far away, but... Uh, you know, crack a few rounds over there. Can't possibly do any harm. Oh, good. These guys are attacking it. That must mean they're ours. That's... Uh, very relieving. What do you mean, mission accomplished? Oh, the lead plane must have bombed it already. Well, that doesn't mean we can't uh, mop up just a little bit. It also means I should be getting on the bomb site because we're going to be over the target pretty soon and uh, we'll be at the point where we need to drop the bombs. So, I'll just make sure that my airspeed is still in the same neighborhood that it was. At least that it should recover by then. Okay. Alright, where's that Jerry Airfield? Uh, let's see. Yeah, speed's creeping back up. We'll call it 80 miles an hour for now. So, we'll creep over to the left. And there are some German planes taking off, so we need to uh, definitely get out of here. There's only time for one run, so... Uh-oh, these spotlights are about to find us. Okay. Um, you need to just say, bombs away! Bombs away, bombs away, bombs away. Okay. Turn! Time to turn. Let's get out of here. I do not want to get shot down. It is after all August. I would like to see the end of the war at some point. I don't. I don't even know what happens when you get to the end of the war and rise of flight. I've never done it. Mostly because I don't really tend to do a lot of late war campaigns. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We need to get out of here. Let's see if we can see if our bombs are doing any damage. 
Uh, uh oh, that flak's getting close. Okay, we need to start maneuvering a little bit. Uh, and increase speed and just hope that all these planes over here are uh, friendlies. Crap. This is not good. I think we might be toast. Uh, I'm not getting up too much speed, am I? Oh no. I need more power! Is that really full? I guess. Uh, oh, the spotlights have lost us. That's good. Turn the friggin' cockpit light off. That can't possibly be helping. Uh, I think we're gonna live. I really shouldn't be losing altitude. It means those German planes are gonna catch us, but uh, speed is helpful too. Okay, I think we can level off. I think we're out of range now. Well, those two spotlights up there are going to be a problem, but uh, they're not looking for us right now, so I think we're going to be okay. What is this? Uh, RPM is reasonable. You know what? What are my gauges saying? Uh, okay. That's about my mixture. You know what? Everything's good for... Oh, good grief. Um... No, I don't want to die. Help! Help! Which is the help flare? Uh, this one. Help! Um. Oh, goodness, no. No, 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 no. They're going right by. Or are they? Are they? Oh, ho, 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 ho. They did not just go right by. I mean, we're such a juicy target, they couldn't possibly resist. Um, oh no, they're coming back. Or are they? Maybe not. We do have quite a bit of speed up. Um, 80 miles an hour, anyway. They, hmm. Fogger D7, I think his top speed was about maybe 105. It wasn't that fast for what it was. Uh, but it was designed to be maneuverable, and that was why it was the best fighter of the war, was because it had a... They figured out that a thick wing wasn't necessarily a bad idea, and that it produced more lift and made the aircraft more predictable, and all kinds of wonderful features like that. It could fly slower than any other aircraft, with the possible exception of the DR-1, but, uh, That's kind of, uh, irrelevant now, because they seem to be leaving us alone. Uh, <laughs> I was absolutely certain that the Golden BB was going to find us today, but apparently it didn't, so I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to head home and hope for the best. Uh oh Spotlights again. No! We might die yet today. I'm not calling us safe until we land, that's it. So... Change altitude and heading every few seconds and see what we can do. Let's descend a little bit and see what we can do. Although often they judge the altitude too low at first, and that seems to be what they're doing right now. <coughs> <coughs> and as long as I don't hack up anything, uh, I don't know, we're still in direct view of the spotlights, which is not good. The thing I like about the 0400, and I think I mentioned this before, is you can kind of throw it a little throw it around a little bit more than the uh, comparable German bombers and it's uh, a little more controllable which is good because I'm kinda trying to jinx it around right now to make sure we don't die today and uh, so far that seems to be uh, wanting to happen so that's all good have the spotlight still on us? yes this is a pretty... Oh, no, 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 no. That was too close for comfort. Let's turn north. That way we're further away from their guns. Maybe we can get out of range quicker. Uh, I'm not going too fast, am I? Nope. I don't think I need to worry about overspeeding right now. It doesn't seem like we can even get close to doing that. Okay, I think they've... Uh, refocus their priorities elsewhere which is good for us but, uh, okay 
I shouldn't say it, but I think we're going to be all right. You know what? I think half the things I thought were flak bursts are probably explosions on the ground, weren't they? God, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I'll come back later. Yeah -ha! As we are getting pretty close to base, it's that waypoint marker you can see up ahead. Uh, through some rather shifty power on descents, I've actually managed to catch up with the uh, flight leader after all this time. And, uh... Well, it's it's nice to see him again. I mean, in theory, we're supposed to stay in formation, but that's never happened. But, uh, I think at this point, I'm going to say that we are alive, unless I mess up the landing royally. But, uh, let's go home. Ah, very nearly home at last. I can see those, uh, fires they've lit along the field to make sure that we can land properly. And I have begun my descent. And as I've said on many time, on many occasions before, I still have this flare gun out because I really don't know how to put it away. Uh, I don't know if there's even a button that lets you do that. Uh, I brought it out with this. You can't push the same button as my revolver. Red flares, green flares, yellow flares, white flares. It's all good. Uh, and I, at one point I had memorized what all the flares mean, but I don't remember. I was assuming red meant help me before, I don't even know if that's true. But uh, I'm not sure what he's doing, I think he's gonna circle the field before he lands, but uh, I'm much too impatient to do that. So we're just gonna head right in. Such a pretty machine this is. Uh, it has an elegance to it, even though it's kind of plump. I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm actually gonna side slip a little bit so that we can descend a little faster, which is really not a good a, not a good thing to do in an aircraft this big. But uh, I'm confident in my abilities to a much greater extent than I really should be. We might have to go around. Yeah, we're going way too fast to land on this particular run. Uh, yeah, here we go. Go around. Go around. I'll just make a quick circle and come back around. Wait a minute, what's uh, leader doing? Uh, is he actually? Oh, I don't know. White flare, I think that means abort anyway. So we'll come back around and try that again. I can't see the ground, so if I fly into the tree suddenly, uh, I don't think we're that low. But it is a distinct possibility, and I should get a little more speed up because... Uh, very distinct possibility that from this altitude we could stall and uh, spin in from a few hundred feet and, uh, well, screw ourselves into the ground, but we don't need to do that. Okay, I think this will work. Oh, I thought those columns of smoke were uh, trees for a second though, which was slightly panic inducing. Oh, I'm really low, aren't I? Uh, it's time to flare. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. We're going to stall. Ooh! Shortest landing I've ever managed, but, uh... We broke one of the King's airplanes again. But, uh, I think most of it's going to be salvageable, so, uh... You know. And we probably took out some valuable German assets on the ground, and, uh... I can't reasonably be blamed. It's dark! But, uh, it stopped making excuses. Just finish the flight. We're alive. And unharmed because of the Handley Page 0400's uh, lovely crumple zone technology. <laughs> so we crashed and we were wounded, but uh, what did we destroy? Bugger all. Okay, he took out some planes, but uh, we must have hit some buildings unless we completely missed, which is a distinct possibility. But, eh. Uh, oh well taken to the hospital to receive treatment for your wounds. Okay, how long were we in the hospital? Couple of days. Oh yeah, my personal victories. I've shot down two airplanes. And losses. Well, we lost that one airplane. Wounded in action. Let's see what's happening on the next day, just for giggles. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It'll be yet another 
new day. Oh dear, this time we're going at 2 in the morning. Oh, and the CO is coming along. Uh, not sure what that means, but we're going to be hitting a factory. So that's probably going to be a very interesting mission. We might try another low-level run for that one. But uh, until then, I have been a... Uh... Wait a minute. I have been an idiot. <coughs> I have been me, Star 66D, playing Rise of Flight, flying the Hadley Pedro 400, etc. You know all this. <gasps> Toodaloo.